Hey, sixth grade. Today, um, we're going to do a lesson on conflict and um, the role that that plays in a story. And so your learning target today is really to look at how conflict impacts a story. And we learned how setting impacts a story. But why is conflict necessary and how does it impact the story? So you can see that here are some literary terms, but we're going to be focusing here on number five. Um, on conflict. So, like I said, here are the reasons um, that conflict is included in a story or embedded in a story. It's necessary. Um, usually only one conflict is found in short stories, but larger stories can have more than one conflict, and we're going to be learning about major and minor conflicts and how to identify the difference between the two. It also adds excitement and, ex and suspense to the story. And um, it's made clear in the exposition of a story. We're going to learn about what the exposition is. It becomes more intense during the rising action. And we'll learn again about that through our um, short story or through our story maps and plotting our maps. Um, character sometimes makes a decision during the climax that influences how a conflict ends and it is usually solved during the resolution. And again, we're going to be looking again at our plot and these different terms and how they play into that. But for right now, it's just important to know that conflict is very important in a story and the difference between minor and major conflict. So to give ourselves a definition of what conflict is, it is a, the primary problem in a story. In other words, it is a clash or struggle between two opposing stories forces. This battle can be either external or internal. So again, we have two different types of conflict, external or internal. External conflict involves a struggle between a character and a force outside of himself. So here are the three different types of external conflict. Um, man versus nature. What can be things like anything to do with weather, um, man versus man, which is one person against another human being, man versus society. So something that society is believing is um, believes to be true, and then fighting against that. For example, um, well, I always think of um, Dr. Martin Luther King and him having to conflict against society for what they their original ideas were. To move on, internal conflict is a struggle between a character and his inner self over a specific problem. They often have trouble making a decision. So this is really important in um, looking at a struggle that a character might have within themselves or making a really difficult decision and um, Again, just battling between those, those two options. So again, if we look back, external conflict can be divided into three categories. Man versus nature, man versus man, man versus society, and internal, which is just simply looking at man versus self, that they're struggling with something within themselves. Again, just to review, Man versus man is conflict between two persons and their opinions. And then conflict between man and society. And conflict between man and some element of nature. Internal conflict is the most important kind of conflict we read about in the stories. Um, the man versus self. Again, the person struggles with an inner problem. Okay, so now, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> we're going to be looking at um, the story of Saved by the Seals, and you're going to be looking for two things um, in this story, and I would like you to do this, you can do this individually or do it with a partner of your choice, but you're going to be looking at what you believe um, the, the conflict in the story is, and you're going to be looking at what type it is. So when we look at the types of conflict, we have to decide first, 
what are the conflicts and what are the major versus minor conflicts. Ma the major conflict is going to move the story forward. Okay. The minor conflict, again, it might be relevant to the story, but it's not going to help move the story forward and, and uh, keep the events going. Then secondly, you're going to decide if the, con the major conflict, so once you decide the major conflict, if it is an internal conflict, which is man versus self, man versus nature, man versus society, or man versus man. And then tomorrow, we're going to be watching a video and learning a little bit more about what the major conflict is and what type of conflict it is. So there's your assignment and you can go ahead.